All right, got myself a chuck beef rib. Gonna barbecue it up. Okay, there's that piece of beef short rib that I've trimmed. Took most of the fat off of it. There's a big thick old piece of fat that I took it off. Some may say, you know, you should just go ahead and leave it. In my experience, um, there's so much fat in the meat that it's plenty juicy, especially if you do a good rub and you develop a good bark, it'll trap in all that fat that's in between the tissues and it'll keep the meat really juicy without having that little bit too much fat on top. And especially that piece, I've done it where we haven't trimmed that and in for my flavor, um, I'd rather trim it. But it's really up to the, to the I guess the eater. Um, and I did pull off the membrane now. Some say that you don't need to pull off the membrane on a beef rib, but I did. Um, so now it's time to season it with, uh, with a rub. Okay, so I'll be cooking these beef short ribs on my Traeger Silverton 620. This is the Costco model. I have a set at 225. Um, not gonna cover it. Just gonna let it slow smoke for about eight to 10 hours. Um, in theory, it's supposed to go to about 204, but I find that I think it's about 190 probe tender. That's the uh, works best for me. I do have a little cup of water in there to kind of help with the moisture control within this trailer system. So, back in eight hours. All right, we're about, it's about four o'clock, so about seven hours in. So let's take a look. Uh, still quite a bit of resistance. We got 177. Yeah. That bark is pretty dry. So this is usually when I uh, add a little step here to kind of help moisten it up. Add a little bit of honey and butter. Okay, so took these off at 190. Um, they cooked for about nine and a half hours. So the probe was stuck this way. So let's see. What is the actual probe temp now? Um, so it's about 164, but it's been resting for about half an hour now. Um, so that's okay, but it's it's got good probe resistance. So in other words, it goes in pretty smooth, um, but it goes in all the way. Now, Remember, we did try to remove some of the membrane. And so when you remove the membrane, it pulls back and it wants to tear off. So it does have some presentation effects when you take the beef membranes off. So let's, uh, let's cut into it and see what it looks like. Let's cut into this brontosaurus. We got a nice, nice smoke ring on the outer edge. Juicy, juiciness. It's pretty good. Let's uh, let's put it to the test, the taste test. Got a pretty hard bark. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Nice and tender, a little savory, a little sweet. Mm. 